Good morning and happy Thursday, everyone. I hope everybody is doing okay. This is Mel from Melamori Nursery. And as you can see, I have brought on one of my tiniest little reborns. Uh, this is the Henley Skull by Don McLeod. He has the most gorgeous face, the most gorgeous eyes, and he is weensy. He is only 17 inches and weighs just about three and a half pounds, maybe four, closer to four probably. And as you can see, the last time I changed him, even this little outfit was really big on him. He's a tiny little bub, this guy. Now, it's interesting because I could swear last theme Thursday, I did an animal theme. Um, but I must confess that I actually didn't get to watching Yvonne's uh, video for this week. So my apologies, Yvonne. Um, I am going to dress these little... Uh, I've got two babies today, and I'm going to dress them both in animal themes. And uh, I I did watch uh, a friend of mine's channel who said it was about uh, animals in the woods, which I could swear I did last week. So um, I'm going to put a sleeper on little Declan because he is so tiny that finding clothes for him to fit is really difficult. Uh, especially boys' clothes where I live. And I'm just going to take off his little gloves so you can see his cute little hands. My goodness, are they ever cute. He's got one in a little fist. He's got this open hand. And he's got these beautiful, look at these beautiful little feet. Oh my goodness. This baby is all hands and feet, folks. So I am... Um, just going to essentially take his shorts off, leave his onesie on, and put a little sleeper on him with animals. And I'm going to show you. It's a vintage sleeper. So on here is baby versions of lions and elephants and uh, what else is on there? I think that's a hippopotamus. Yeah. <laughs> which is kind of an interesting combination. So there must be a swamp. The back looks the same. It's this very, uh, like retro faded green that you would see, you know, back in the day. And it is a wardrobe essentials up to seven pounds. And of course, because he is so tiny, I expect it to swim on him. Um, he's got the most, uh, adorable little haircut going on here and I'm I am going to spray a little bit of conditioner in there because just to give him a little bit of a, a rise in his hair but he is a little fella he's just such a little fella and what sold me on him of course was his little face his little eyes and I purchased him off of eBay I am his second mummy and um for as small as this little one is, he's got such a big, big personality. So off these little weensy shorts come off. And you know, I have uh, more winter uh, fall clothes than I do um, have like summer stuff. And that is because, you know, like onesies here could be considered summer. And... Uh, you know, like there's no, like, especially with the boys. I mean, this is typically speaking, this is what a little baby of mine would have just gone about in, uh, in the summer months. Had I had a boy for one, which I didn't, I had girls. Um, but I mean, to keep them cool, I would have just kept them in a little onesie like this and, they would have been very comfortable, probably lying in some sort of like little bed with a little bit of a breeze over them, allowing to kick up their little legs and move their little arms and get a little bit of a view of the world, maybe with the mobile over top of them, that sort of thing. But 
Uh, because we're doing themes and because these are reborn dolls and they don't seem to care, I will put him in a sleeper. And, um, oh yeah, his movements are really great. This doll was actually a doll show doll, a uh, winner of a doll show doll. And um, at the P St. Petersburg Doll Show in 2000 and I want to say 18 or 19. I think it was 18. I think it was 2018. He was the winner of one of the, the prizes of the St. Petersburg uh, Doll Show. So this little fella is, you know... Um, he definitely came with all his paperwork and his credentials and all of that. And um, not that that makes any difference, but um, even his little toes here are all au naturel. You don't see any of the gloss. Let's just try to show you so the camera can focus. You don't see any unnatural gloss on his fingers or on his toes. He is literally just like as natural as can be and his painting and modeling he's got this very light medium matte varnish on him he's modeled very well and his painting is just exquisite like it's it's really well done you know so for such a little guy at only 17 inches he is remarkably done remarkably done look at him just absolutely cute so i just wanted to point that out so that you guys could see because you know i, I really do hate covering up you know the vinyl the, the whole point of the reborn sometimes especially in the summers to show their vinyl but um i did want to you know do a little bit of a theme thursday Part of me actually was going to skip over the Thursday, to be honest, and uh, go to my next contestant. <laughs> that sounds like The Price is Right. I talked about Jeopardy yesterday, and now I'm talking about The Price is Right. Um, but I really had, you know, I had somebody else in mind, and I had a little outfit. I wanted to get her out of her really, really uh, remarkable dress, and... Um, and I think tomorrow a surprise is going to be on my channel. I'm not quite sure, but there might be. And um, so we will see if she comes on tomorrow or Saturday. And uh, we'll have to see. So at some point, I'm going to have to break free from these, you know, themes. Because, um, like I said, you know, like I have various other things to do. You know, and, and, you know, uh, you can't do them all. I mean, well, you can, I suppose. Uh, there's so many out there. Somebody actually, I answered this morning. Somebody was asking me about all the themes. I think I stopped at about 10. Um, and then I thought, oh, my goodness. If you're, you're interested in all the themes, folks, I mean, there's, there's so many, uh, ways you can find out. I, I've, I really highly encourage you to read the comments, um, to go on the hunt, um, to Google in the YouTube bar, you know, uh, themes of reborns or that kind of thing. Um, because that, that will help you out, it, it, you know. Um, and I did catch up with all of my comments, I believe, without actually commenting, folks. I was like four videos behind. So I put a heart um, beside everything. I tried to look for questions and answer those directly. But if I've missed any, uh, please don't hesitate to re-ask them and I will try to accommodate those within reason. Sometimes the answer is in the video itself, folks. So um, if I see that, you know, an obvious answer is in the video itself, you know, I tend, I tend to just kind of do my best and, and, you know, maybe the first time or so, but if I see it's the same kind of individual that, you know, asks me the same sort of questions as, as much as I appreciate that there's a possibility, you know, my, my information and my channel, uh, videos are, sorry about moving the camera. 
my my videos are are often really long um you know um i do try to provide as much information in the videos as i can about you know who sculpted who painted what the sculpt is um etc okay so i just put a bit of noodles and boo in his little hair i love uh this little guy's name by the way i forgot to tell you i think i forgot to tell you is declan this is a little Declan. Isn't he a cutie pie? Little Declan. So we're going to take him off. Declan's too tiny to be fussing about for, for very long. And as you can see, he's just a weensy little one. And I realized, you know, I was saying yesterday in my video too, that um, my daughter and I had gone for lunch and seen a one-month-old. And um, I was... Uh, I started to laugh and forgot that I started that conversation and that baby looked newborn and when I was comparing her against she Easton it is amazing because that little baby was just such a tiny little thing not not quite as tiny as this one but you know very tiny indeed so you know you don't see many newborns out and about anymore and we happen to see one at lunch so there's Declan and he's just in a sleeper, um, very vintage sleeper. It actually fits him a lot better. And I've got him cradled in my arms because this is how I would hold my babies back in the day when they were teensy tiny. And uh, I did have teensy tiny little babies. So there he is there. And I will bring on the next little one who wasn't on long ago but he was in a sea of blue and he will be in a sea of blue here. Come here, darling, because it's Lucas. And I wanted to bring Lucas back on and I'm just gonna set Declan up here in his blankie. There you go, baby boy. So all I'm gonna do for little Lucas here, because he is wearing this this was his lovey, very plush lovey. Declan can hold on to it for a second. So he is in this uh, little romper style um, outfit. And, you know, blue suits him uh, probably second to white, I would say. But he is in a blue of like a sea of blue. So I want to get him right down and again. If you, you see this here, like, I, I would just keep babies just like that. Look at that. Look at how beautiful, you know, a baby looks just, just in the onesie. So absolutely adorable. I love it. And um, I'm just going to put him in a wild kind of onesie. So I'm going to take this onesie that he's got on off and uh, it, it has long sleeves because I couldn't find one that had short sleeves. And I'm not into, you know, going out and running about. I'm going to treat his hair too. This camera might move one more time. I'm not into running about buying up uh, items of clothing when where I live. We'll get three weeks of summer about about three weeks of summer uh, maybe maybe at most at a stretch we might get um four maybe five after that the temperature starts dipping and uh i i haven't really found it too too hot anyway um you know not compared to what my my friends have been feeling it over in the uk i mean that's just crazy 40 degree temperatures is just absolutely crazy so lucas is one of my favorite sculpts i mean he is the levi sculpt by bonnie brown um and all i'm going to be putting on him is this onesie here it's white which is lucas's color and it has elephants and lions and zebras and that's pretty much it. And it's the same on the back. It's long sleeved as well. So he is going to come out of this um, short sleeve onesie, which is what I would keep him in normally. 
and I'm going to just put them in that other onesie and call it a day. And the boys are both going to be really comfortable today. Um, in the summer, I think, you know, being comfortable, you know, it, like I try in my mind, I think, you know, it's okay. You know, they're dolls. They can be, they can be like, absolutely. His neck doesn't look too comfy there, does it? On that angle. Let's get you on the pillow better, baby. Um, I think, you know, they, they can be all dressy and it, it doesn't really affect them because I know they're dolls. But in reality, I think to myself, would I have put uh, a reborn in this sort of outfit on this kind of a day? And, you know, I, I tend to be more more that way. I mean, I've got some beautiful clothes and, um, you know, and if I was just putting the, the dolls on display all the time, I would dress them that way. And part of me would love to do that once, like dress all my reborns in their most beautiful outfits, put them on display, film them at least once. So I had that. Um, but I interact every day with the Reborns, uh, and because I do, um, I want them to be comfortable. <laughs> I want them to be comfortable, and I want them to reflect the weather, so um, I can't help it. So as you can see, let's just see if we got his little neck going on here. He's always going to have a bit of wild hair. I think that's his personality, but as you can see, he suits white really, really well. And it's really hard to see because this bare blanket I've laid down. Let's just get the camera moved up a little bit. But Lucas is just, he just curls up. That's the wonderful, beautiful thing about the Levi sculpt is he just curls up. And I always forget which way his legs go exactly to curl up. You know, he kind of, <laughs> it's hard for me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there he is. He curls up so beautifully, you know, just absolutely so beautifully. The sculpt is just magical. And um, so that's the two boys there. And I'm just going to bring them on. I'm just going to use this little pillow for Declan here because he's such a little tyke. And like I said, I don't, I don't put soothers very often in their mouth. Let's get them. So the boys are just hanging out in their little outfits. There. Let's get your hand down, baby. They don't really match or coordinate. There's nothing really, you know, too coordinating about them. But they're just brothers of the collection. And they're my cutie pies. Each of them I love for different reasons. And, you know, isn't it funny? Oh, you're getting a shadow too from the... Let's see if I can't avoid that shadow somehow. Let's see if I can avoid it. There we go. But those are the boys. Yeah. So these are on the smaller size of my collection. And I do have, you know, larger ones. But um, Lucas is a small size newborn. Declan is definitely preemie size. Definitely. The Henley Sculpt by Don McLeod. The Levi by Bonnie Brown. You can see there is absolutely nothing in common in their sculpts at all, except they are just part of a collection. And yeah, so I want to wish you all a very happy Thursday. I hope everybody is doing well. I know a number of people have gotten ill again. I pray you're all feeling well and uh, or get better soon or that, you know, it doesn't take very long to, to run its course. And I want to thank everybody for your likes, your comments, your views, your time spent with me every day. 
and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a blessed and beautiful Thursday, everybody. And um, from my house to yours, thank you so, so much. And stay blessed, be beautiful, and remember you are wanted, needed, and loved. And oh, look at the shadows, poor little shadows. Poor little Lucas. I have to lift him up with my elbow there. So, all right, folks. I will see you next time. Bye for now.